Hey guys, this is Mac Hansen on with our 22nd terminal lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to get information about files without having to use a GUI. This is useful if you have to SSH to your Mac from another computer and you can't use um, other commands to get information about a file that you really need. So to do this, we're going to be using the MD import command, which stands for metadata import. And what it does is it reads through a file, reads through some permissions, some attributes, stuff like that, and it gives us information about the file. And you can even set how much information you want to get, and I'll get into that in a little bit. So here on my desktop, I have three different types of files. I have a pages file, I have an image of an Apple logo here, and I have a video file. And I'll just play this. This is a ScreenFlow encoded video file. Um, yeah, so it's like a five second little video. All right, so uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to um we're gonna get information about these from the command line. So the first thing we're gonna do is type md import space dash d and then space and then a two for now. Um, and we'll do test pages dot pages to get some information about this. It'll give us a lot. You can see uh, it's gonna tell us a bunch of um, metadata information. It's gonna tell us the type. It's going to tell us the dates and stuff. It's going to tell us the um, stuff like that, um, the fonts they're used. And then here it'll tell us at the end the text content. That's pretty cool, I think. So this actually knows how to read pages file. So if you're at school or something and you need to get a pages file from your Mac, you can MD import and you'll be able to see the contents. Um, so let's just see. If we do pipe this into more, obviously you can read it better. Um, anyway. Let's do md import space dash d1 and see what the difference here is. Because I want to explain in a second what dash d really does. It won't give us almost no information. And the reason for that is because dash d stands for debug level. And the higher it is, the more information you're going to get. So it's 1 to 4. 4 is a ton of stuff. You're going to see um, here. Let me just pipe it into a file. Um, and you'll be able to look at the contents of this file and see all this stuff. And it's really a lot. It'll tell you about all the libraries it's loading and stuff like that. And it's it's too much. Um, so that's why you can set the amount of information you're going to see. And anyway, I'll just show you. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward command. You can obviously look at the manual page for other things. I'll show you some information about a PNG file. Um, so let's see here. You can see the uh, pixel width, pixels high. The pixel count total, that's just those multiplied, obviously. Um, the orientation, that's going to be 1 by default. Um, some scales, some information about that. Some pretty cool stuff. And I'll do it once again to this movie. And um, I'll do it to shatter.move. And if you take a look, you can see the resolution. If we scroll up, you'll see a bunch of information about this. Um, encoding application, ScreenFlow actually puts itself in there. Uh, here's the display name it'll have tons of stuff and it's actually like the codec and stuff used and I think it's pretty useful to be able to get that so if we look at the man page here I'll just take you through a brief look through you can obviously use plugins you can um, do a lot of cool stuff here you can um, just get the file schema and exit there's um, uh, you can see uh, a bunch of different stuff here's the dash D obviously which is the debug level um, and yeah, so basically that's pretty much it. MD import, it's a pretty cool command. I've used it multiple times from school where I want to get contents of a pages file. And it's quite useful. So anyway, thanks for watching Mac Kids and All. Subscribe and goodbye.